You work here. Your specialty is the Aurelia orita, or moon jelly. You know about their complicated reproductive cycle, their propulsion mechanics, their poison chemistry, and a whole bunch of other stuff. The reason you know all this is because you spend a lot of time here in the field and here in the lab doing research on jellies, trying to answer that one question that no one has asked before. But this research costs money and getting funding can be time consuming and competitive and it's the last thing that you wanna be thinking about. But you know that without money, you're not doing research. So you go to the NSF. And if you go to the NSF, you need to prove that you are a good investment you need to show that the money they spend on your research will positively impact society. Whether that's educating the public or helping policymakers, why does learning about jellies matter to them? You need to show why it's important for other people to understand your work. The question you need to answer is what's the broader impact of your jelly research? The Broader Impact Wizard is designed to help you answer this question and create a well-structured broader impact statement with minimal headache. It's efficient and effective, and it'll get you back to looking through microscopes and swimming in the ocean in no time. Let's look at some of the ideas that you'll need to know about when working through this wizard. Audience. You need to show that you can communicate the importance of your work outside your discipline or the scientific community. This could be anything from underrepresented youth groups to members of an industry, like fishermen. The audiences that you target will influence how you present your work. What resonates with one group might not resonate with another. So you have to tweak your message accordingly. When I begin, I fundamentally think, what is something that people might already know about um, that they might be interested in? Seeing what makes their eyes glaze over and what makes them light up is an important place to start when you're trying to think about a broader impacts. To gain an appreciation of microbial life, students have to be able to see them firsthand. So I've found that if you can get students to look down and down through a microscope, and to actually see these things, it, for many of them, it opens up a world that they haven't even considered before. Collaborative partnerships. You can't effectively make a broader impact doing everything yourself, and you shouldn't. There are people out there whose expertise centers around, say, web design, or curriculum development, or video production. You'll be far more successful communicating your research if you partner with these people and leverage their expertise. I quickly realized that I don't know everything. The only way that a project can move forward as a whole is to get input from all these different groups. And the more people involved, in my experience, the better the end product has been. There's a lot of smart people out there in a lot of areas. When you work with them and uh, uh, respect each other, uh, you can really accomplish great things. We don't have the time to do everything, so we need to partner with people who can do their piece, you do your piece, and at the end, everything gets done and you learn a lot from the process and that feeds back into what you do, so you benefit, it feeds back into what they do, so they benefit. The ones that I found to be the most successful were those where we were constantly talking to each other. So I would say that's a big piece, is, is making sure you're partnering with someone that you can talk to and talk to them a lot, you know. Statement of Uniqueness. Your broader impact statement should aspire to the same level of uniqueness that your research does. No one wants to fund work that's already being done. The key is to find broader impact approaches that are proven to work and apply them to your research in a new way. You have to get creative. I remember reading a variety of proposals where you're reading it and going, this is a really cool idea. Either their target audience is really unique or their integration of technology, but if you try and identify and do too many different things, that alone, I think, is, a, is one pitfall that you want to avoid. You want to have the broader impacts integrated with the science, and you can't put in a science proposal uh, and get it funded if it's been work that's been done before and it doesn't bring some uniqueness to advance the field. That is what separates one project proposal from another. What really gets me excited are these statements that do something out of the ordinary, you know, something where you say, wow, you know, I've never thought about that. That's a really cool approach. I wonder whether that will work. Evaluation plan. 
The NSF needs to know that your broader impact activities are actually working. Even if you've built the Jellies Research Site, partnered with a local aquarium, developed a STEM-rich moon jelly curriculum for K-12, and you've got a snazzy moon jelly video, if your message isn't resonating with your intended audience, you've wasted money. You need an independent evaluator to assess your efforts. Now you can tweak your message so that you don't waste money. I would say the evaluation is a critical piece uh, to the broader impacts throughout the entire thing, from building the plan, implementing the plan, and now seeing if the plan even worked. The evaluation component, I, I found, is incredibly valuable. This idea, which I thought was pretty basic, didn't really come across, yet this other idea that was a little bit sophisticated seemed to really, you know, sort of click for them and, you know, in terms of how it was explained. And so and it allows you to go back and revise how you're presenting things. Are you being successful? Or are you wasting your time? Uh, everybody's kind of busy. They don't want to be wasting their time. Um, you may have come up with a really great idea or a really great result, and then someone looks at it and says, oh, well, you didn't actually consider uh, this little thing over here, which actually biased all of your measurements. You can put a lot of effort into something for nothing. It's not a hard sell for a scientist. And finally, a defensible budget for your broader impact. The first step is to realize that a broader impact program is not an add-on. You should think of it as an integral part of your research. Grant proposals are not going to have a high likelihood of getting funded if they don't have meaningful broader impact components. Budgeting appropriately is important because that is your sign of what the commitment to that broader impact is going to be. If there is a disconnect between what they write and what I see in the budget, that's usually not a good sign. It tells me that it's either an afterthought or not translated well into action. Second, be realistic. Working with people costs money. Everyone needs to be paid fairly for what they do. Supplies cost money, travel, overhead, everything should be included in a realistic budget. So in the end, know that you have to spend money. A budget that is well thought out and covers all your bases makes your proposals stand out. It's actually an advantage if you honestly budget for what you need. In my opinion, strong, broader impacts uh, cost money. There are some uh, opportunities out there to, to stretch the budget. There are groups out there that are funded to build broader impact components to science. And here I've got a science project that needs broader impact piece. And so there's a great leveraging because the funding that they have will support a lot of the tools that you might use. It's always amazing to me to see how money attracts money. So if you have some money to get something started, uh, it's amazing how other pots of money become available to you. Ultimately, if you do it right, the results are worth it. I think our research is exciting. And I think other people should see how exciting it is. And so the broader impacts, in my opinion, is, is, a, is an integral piece of the whole project. If we can't communicate to a broader audience what we're doing or why we're doing is valid, then we're not making any difference. And really, the science has to make a difference in the world. That's why we do it. Now it's your turn. The wizard awaits.